Hello, grade nine math class. Welcome back to another lecture. We have bed mass three here, which is the ninth lesson in this unit, uh, the last installment of bed mass here, uh, and some of it is quite tricky. Uh, disregard the marks. Uh, it does kind of show how hard some of them are, um, but we will uh, take a look at these and work them out and come out with a final answer. Uh, I have worked hard at it, and I'll expect you to if you made it this far. Uh, all right, here we go. Let's do the first one. First one is not too bad. All right, so don't get comfy. 36 plus 4 divided by 5 times 2. We can do the top, and then we do the bottom. So we have 40 on top. 36 plus 4 is 40. 5 times 2 is 10, and that all equals 4. All right, we're feeling good. Let's shift over to the right and we'll do one that's a little bit harder and has two sets of brackets in it. So we have 16 plus big bracket 30 divided by a little bracket 2 plus 3 with a closed little bracket plus 2 in a closed big bracket. So let's just do this one step at a time. I see brackets. Within those brackets, I have brackets. So I got to do those brackets first. Okay, so 16 plus the big bracket 30 divided by 2 plus 3 is 5. It's 2. We've got a closed bracket. Now I'm going to do what's in the brackets, and I'm going to do multiplication and addition uh, second. So we have 16 plus 30 divided by 5 is 6 plus 2. We do then what's in the brackets. We add, so 16 plus 8, and that is 24 for our answer, okay? So we did the brackets, and then we uh, did what was in the brackets, and then we expanded to the last bit, which was addition or subtraction. Let's do a couple of more. All right, we have 56 divided by seven plus six times three minus five. So no brackets that have anything in them to do. We do have brackets that signify multiplication, but we have a separate part for division. So let's do those two parts uh, in the same step. 56 divided by seven is eight, and six times three is 18. Let's subtract five. 18 plus eight is 26, and subtract five is 21. All right, next one, this is our first one with exponents in it. So we are going to always do brackets and then exponents, and sometimes the exponents are in the brackets. Then we do multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Let's go. 48 divided by two to the power of four times five to the power of two plus 17 to the power of three. Okay, we've got some work to do with the 17 to the power of three. Uh, let's just start doing these exponents so that we can work them out. So 48 stays, 2 to the power of 4. So that's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. 2, 4 times. 2 times 2 is 4. Then we have 8. Then we have 16. So there we go. 48 divided by 16 multiplied by 5 to the power of 2. That's 5 times 5. 5 times 5 we know is 25. And then we have a, a doozy. Okay, uh, let's just use up the rest of this space. Let's just use up a bunch of the space that we have. And uh, we'll write the equation again on the bottom. So 17 times 17. 7 times 7 is 49. So I have a 9 and then a 4 to add. And then 7. Ooh, I have not. Not leave enough space. That's okay. 7 times 1 is 7. And then I'm moving over, so I am adding my placeholder. 1 times 7 is 7. 1 times 1 is 1. So I can add these now. 9 plus 0 is 9. 7 plus 7 is 14. Plus 4 is 18. So 289 is 17 squared, but we want 17 cubed. So 289 times 17 again. 7 times 9 is 63, so we have a little 6 to add. 7 times 8 is 56, so we have a 6 here and a little 5 to add. 7 times 2 is 14. 
We have nowhere to add that, so we just lay it out. We move over. We have a placeholder 0. 1 times 9 is 9. 1 times 8 is 8. And 1 times 2 is 2. So then we're going to go ahead and add these all together. This comes to 3. 9 plus 6 is 15, plus 6 is 21, so we're going to carry that over. Uh, 5 plus 4 is 9, plus 2 is 11, plus 8 is 19, so we're going to carry another 1 over. And we get 4,913. So that is not the final answer, that's just part of our equation. So I'm going to rewrite this down here and we're going to continue. 38 divided by 16 multiplied by 25. Oops, it's not there. Plus 400, 4,913. Okay. Now we're going to do multiplication and division from left to right because we have no more brackets and no more exponents. So 48 divided by 16 uh, is 4? 3, sorry. 3, I, I just had a little brain fart. Multiplied by 25 was 4,913. 3 times 25 is 75. So we're going to add those. I'm going to go ahead and write this underneath just to make it easy for myself. 3 plus 5 is 8. 8. Okay, our final answer is 4,988. And although it was a little bit tricky, we were able to do it all without a calculator um, with a little bit of effort and a little bit of time. Uh, let us go and do two more. I'm going to do them hopefully quickly. We will see though. We want to do them well. We have 5 squared minus 3 times 3 to the power of, sorry, 2 to the power of 3. We're going to do our exponents first because there's no brackets. 5 squared we know is 25 minus the 3 stays multiplied by 2 to the power of 3, that's 2 times 2 times 2, which we know to be 8. Uh, 3 times 8 is 24, so 25 minus 24. Our answer is 1. I like that answer. And we have one more that is a little bit long. Let's see what we can do. 100 minus, big bracket, 60 divided by... 2 to the power of 2 times 3, plus 3 to the power of 3, plus 15 squared. All right, we can do this one. So we have brackets. Uh, where's our close? Oh, sorry, we have a closed bracket there. Uh, we have brackets, but we're going to do the small brackets first. So we do 2 to the power of 2 which is 4, and then multiplied by 3 is 12. So I'm going to do that all at once. 2 times 2 is 4, like 2 squared is 4 times 3 is 12, so that goes there. 3 to the power of 3, that's 3 times 3 times 3, so that's 9 times 3, which is 27, plus 15 squared, I know this one, is 225. We're going to continue 100, subtract 60 divided by 12 is 5, plus 27. We're going to continue, finish off that bracket as 32. And if we do this, so this would be just under 300. Yes, it'd be... Did I lose it? I gotta check my 293. I knew it. I just wanted to get it exactly right. 293, your final answer. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Uh, make sure you do brackets, exponents, division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. That's what BedMath stands for. And I'll see you soon.